Welcome, fans. Thanks for joining us for this Friday night edition of the NBA on 2K. You know, the first thing you think of with both these teams, Greg, their athleticism. Some high flyers on the court tonight. And, Kev, it's not just about the aerial skills, though. There are some guys out there who can flat out wear you down with their ability to run the floor. A look at the Magic starting group. Lucas is out there with Gervin. Then there's Robertson. Then it's Anthony Davis, and it's Starks in at the two-guard spot. Now here's Simmons. Back to Hardaway. And the layup fall. He's an explosive athlete with tremendous positional size. Hardaway has no issue mixing it up inside. Here's Robertson. Pass to Lucas. Robertson outside. And there's the try. And stolen by Elijah Wong. And here's the fast break. Simmons finds Wiggins. And he drops in the layup off the glass. You can tell Simmons is a guy who, from the moment he picked up a basketball, has been a point guard by nature. Now starts. Some good scoring numbers for him right now, averaging 17 points a game. Over Jordan. A shot by Starks. No good. Well, tremendous defensive effort on the interior. That's the kind of contest you want. Hardaway from outside. Lucas with the rebound. And it's Davis with the ball for Orlando. And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid-range or hurt you from deep. First team foul. And here is Robertson. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled into what they do well. And you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. And here comes the break. Here's the floater, and it's good on the layup. Well, oh, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Jordan with it, picked up by Davis, and the foul called on Michael Jordan. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Robertson against Hardaway. Loads it up for Davis, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop. And Simmons slams it in. Man, my goodness, the handle of Ben Simmons, the craftiness to get to his spot. Simmons against Robertson. Elijah Wan with the block. Here's Simmons. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It goes on starts. First break, Ben Simmons, one of four players in the entire history of the NBA to average at least seven rebounds and seven assists per game through his first four seasons. Think about it, joining Magic Johnson, Oscar Robinson, and Luka Doncic. That is some pretty elite-level company. Now here's Robertson. Last time, 14 points for him. Fires from the line. Elijah Wan with the block. Without a doubt, one of the most versatile shot blockers in the game. Elijah Wan does it in the painted area as well as along the perimeter. Here's Simmons. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Now here's Robertson. Lucas kicks to Robertson. Davis with a screen on Hardaway. Pass to Gervin. Pocket six over Wiggins. 
that one wide left. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Here's Hardaway, and then Hardaway with the dunk. Some power coming from the PG. Ah, that's right. GA is seeing more and more of that these days. Backcourt guys who can elevate. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. Russell, he's checked in for Robertson. And the slam dunk by Russell. D'Angelo Russell rises up and drops the hammer. Here's Jordan. And he goes right over D'Angelo Russell and slams it down. Won't find a much more entertaining site. I call that slam dunk contest level. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Russell finds Davis. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy. And you wonder though if the team's gonna focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and try to manage the wear and tear. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Chicago. Jermaine O'Neal checked in for Elijah. And John Walls subbed in for Hardaway. And a switcher also for Orlando. Zach Levine's checked in for Gervin. Here's Wall. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on D'Angelo Russell. A veteran move right there. John Wall gets him off his feet with the up fake. Pretty. And when Davis is on the floor, Greg, he is a force. But how do you keep him healthy into the playoffs? That is the question. I mean, sustaining his output over a full season isn't easy, but Davis has had a bit of bad luck with the injury, so you have to mitigate ways to keep him available. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. And so it's Wall. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. They trail by one. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. It came down to execution. No wasted possessions, and that is absolutely essential trying to win on the road. Here's Smith. Hassan Whiteside made his last pass. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Russell against Wall. Russell passes to Levine. Kept alive Orlando. No good from Lucas. Bulls are gone 7-9 from the field. A really nice start offensively for them. Passes to Meshmer. Wall against Russell. Wall, good. Listen, we are talking about one of the strongest and most physical players at his position. John Wall, give me a little contact, no problem. Smith, wide open, he fires. Traps in the tray. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Wall. He dishes it to O'Neal. Whiteside trying to break free, and O'Neal gets it to go. Taking back the lead once more. Give these teams credit. Man, they are battling. Neither team willing to give an inch, and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. Smith against Wall. Smith kicks to Russell from deep. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Russell's got seven points. In catch-and-shoot situations, you've got to be balanced and in control. Mr. Russell, well done. The pass to Mashburn. Dishes the wall. Oh, right side in position. On the wing, Levine. Back to Smith. Pass to Lucas. 
Shakes it off the glass. Jerry Lupin. And the Magic lead by three. How about the timing? Can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Wall. And he converts the layup. He's got five. Well, the strength in the upper body allows him to take contact and complete the play. Go ahead, John Wall. Chicago making a switch here. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. Checking into the game for your ball. There's 14 seconds left in the first. Here's Levine. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Uh, Zach Levine wants to score it, and if you play with contact, he has no problem embracing that. He hits both from the strike. Here is Wall. He's got five. Jordan outside. Good work there as it goes. And you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. The first quarter all wrapped up, and it's been an exciting game so far. Orlando out in front, leading by a point. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, your full youth dance team. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Orlando. In the early going, they've been heat-seeking. Very crafty at drawing contact to work themselves to the line. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. And so in the game for the Magic, LaRusso is out there with Davis. Then there's Gerber. Then there's Starks. And it's Levine and at the two guard. Here's LaRusso. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Starks the pass to Gerber. Back to Starks. Takes a three. Elijah Wan with the rebound. Elijah Wan's got his fourth rebound in this one. And for Orlando, it's been a tough decade. We would agree on that. And Greg, they've only won two playoff games since 2012. Well, they've only made the playoffs twice in that span as well. So they've got a lot of draft picks lined up in the next few years, and they need to make good on those hot picks. LaRusso with a screen on Jordan. It's sent back down by Simmons. That is the long arms and defensive prowess of Ben Simmons on display. No good from Jordan. The Magic trail by three. Davis surveying the four. Pass to LaRusso. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Seven-foot shot. And Davis can't get it to go. The Bulls have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Levine with it. Hardaway picks him up. And he uses the glass on the layup. Well, how about the anticipation by Levine? Gets the pick and jump starts the break. That's how it's done. And then Jordan slams it in. And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Here starts the Bulls getting the bucket. Pass to Davis. And that one is off. Good D by Elijah Wan. Michael Jordan on the wing. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Oh, and with all the gifted range shooters in this league, Doris, it seems like in the clutch, more teams go for those long distance, uh, quote unquote, Hail Mary threes, rather than uh, two quick field goals inside. Well, it makes sense if you have guys who work on those types of shots. We see Stephen Curry do this all the time. But I don't always agree that that should be the play. If you have the time, go for high percentage two-point looks. That is good. And the Bulls lead has cut down now to just three on the basket from Davis. And the grace of Davis's game, you know, not many big men are just that fluid in terms of how he moves. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Karis LeVert has become one of the game's best slashers. He says, honestly, I just go to the front of the rim and work on different spins. 
getting more comfortable with both hands and finishing. Kyrie Irving did that when he was younger, and that's one of the ways he became a great finisher. Kevin, back to you. He is a great finisher. David thinks he's studying the greats, and it's paying off. Now Davis, following the three-point attempt by Andrew Wiggins. Now, here is Starks. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. The pass to LaRusso. Four on the clock. Here's Davis. And it's off the back rim. No good. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Russo, the pass to Robertson. He kicks to Starks. Pass to LaRusso. John Starks on the wing. To the paint. And it's slammed in by Davis. Uh, a terrific leaper with incredible height. Davis is a dunk machine. Hardaway passes to Mashburn. Robertson against Hardaway. Jordan kicks to Hardaway. Robertson with the steal. LaRusso against Wiggins. LaRusso, no good. The Bulls leading by three. Hardaway passes to Wiggins. Michael Jordan on the wing, guarded by Gervin. Kicks it out to Wiggins. And again, Chicago, no good. The Magic have gone just 33% for the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right, he stays connected and great timing on the contest. Now here is Hardaway. 17 points in his last outing. Outside, Simmons. Reverses. And Davis sends it back. The incredible length of Davis. He uses it to perfection to come up with the block. And Davis throws it down hard. Oh, my goodness. AD wanted them to feel that one. Davis moves his whole team with that explosiveness. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Right side's checked in for Wiggins. O'Neal comes in for Ben Simmons. Jason Richardson is checked in for Michael Jordan. And John Wall subbed in for Hardaway. Orlando also making some changes. Lucas is checked in for LaRusso. Russell comes in for Gert. And Smith subbed in for Robertson. Wall dishes to Whiteside. And it goes on a bounce. That one is off Smith. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. You look at the Bulls, things going their way so far in this season. Right now, they lead the pack up front in the first spot with the best record. And checking out Orlando, two games back. And you know, for the Bulls, they've gotten off to a terrific start this year. We knew they were capable of playing terrific basketball, and so far, they have not disappointed. Yeah, and there really hasn't been any feeling out process for them at the start of the season. They were in good form immediately. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And now in the final year of his contract, Daniel Russell trying to get back to that all-star level. And the promise they got him that last four year deal. Now here's Richardson. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Richardson against Russell. Starts outside. And it's off from three-point range. And after a lackluster performance in last year's playoff, Russell has some making up to do. Yeah, and the efficiency has been a problem. Now, if you're a player whose primary value is at the offensive end, you can't just be a volume scorer. Orlando with the ball. The Bulls getting the bucket. And they get it back. Smith for three. Here's Davis. And finally they hit one. Davis has got 12 points in the game. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Wall against Smith. Orlando grabs the miss. 
And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the Bulls this season. And here we go. The first in what will be a three-game season series between the two teams. You know, right out of the gates, one team gets a lead with the head-to-head -head advantage, bragging rights, if you will, over the other. And tonight, it starts. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. Well, you simply have to shake that one off, right? You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. Here's Wall. Feeds it to O'Neal. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Oh, this guy's so explosive. And John Wall knows how to draw contact when he gets to the rack. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. And the Bulls making a change here. Elijah Wands check in. Levine's check in for Orlando. Now here's Levine. With an average of around 19 and a half points a game, his scoring has been a constant for them. They are just killing them on the interior. Chicago's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Here's Wall, and stolen by Russell. And now Orlando on the break. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And to the line goes Davis. So long and talented. Most years, he's top 10 in free throw attempts. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Outside, Simmons. O'Neal from long range. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. Anthony Davis firing. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back. Hi, folks. It's shaping up to be a good second half. As They're keeping a lid on the turnovers. I mean, that's enabled them to be effective. And now let's take a look at our... That'll do it for half. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You look at Anthony Davis in this game, he's been everywhere. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with within the first few quarters. And one of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. Elijah Wan is out there with Simmons. And it's Michael Jordan. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. And it's Hardaway in at the point. That's Billy Donovan's five as we get going here in the second half. As if Jordan weren't challenging enough to guard. Uh, the little up fake there, putting the defender at his mercy. And the Magic right now, missing that franchise player, might have one of their young talents develop into that, but currently they lack that start. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And as we know, Greg, the NBA is a star-driven league. Hard to contend without a top 10 player on the roster. The, the Magic have been patient in their approach. And one player taking a leap this season would be huge. The shot by Jordan, no good. Magic leading by four. Pass to Robertson. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to go on Penny Hardaway. And just able to score in so many ways. Robertson puts the defense there in an impossible situation. The ball shooting impressively throughout at 62%. Hardaway passes to Jordan. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Davis. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars. Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Now here's Robertson. He's got eight. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Jordan. Hardaway finds Simmons. Robertson with it. Now guarded by Jordan. The shot's good from Robertson. Robertson's got the lead up to six now for the Magic. And the painted area is where Robertson can destroy you. He's just too strong and too skilled. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drop that happened a moment ago. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. This is his first free throw of the game. 
Russo's checked in for Davis. And he makes both free throws. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Robertson kicks to Lucas. Hardaway against Robertson. Over Hardaway. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Elijah has got six rebounds here tonight. Passes it to Jordan. And it's good assisting on the play with Simmons. Simmons got his third assist on the night. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And Simmons is an asset in so many ways. Maybe most of all, his defense. Well, unequivocally, Greg, this guy can guard one through four. And I'm going to say because of the length and the strength he has, in a pinch, he can also guard most fives. He's terrific on the defensive glass, and he can put a ton of pressure on you in his transition game. Like, this guy is a special talent. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. It's sent back down by Simmons. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Oldham. David. Thanks very much. Orlando has a very young roster. Coach Jamal Mosley says, one thing I've said to them is dominate the simple. The more we can keep it simple, the better we'll be. Not overthinking things, just playing off instincts and reaction. Kevin, back to you. The place to uh, start makes a lot of sense. David, thanks. Here's Hardaway following the bucket by Orlando. Yes, that goes in. Olajuwon's got four this quarter. And far from just a score, Hardaway is also adept at finding his teammate. Kicks it out to Robertson. The 18-footer is right on the mark. And the Magic lead by two. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Hardaway dishes to Elijah Wan. And they pick up two. Elijah Wan's got the game tied up here for Chicago. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Lucas, the pass to Starks. LaRusso with a screen on Jordan. Starks. It's all in by the Bulls. Elijah Wan's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And it's Simmons. That time on the assist from Hardaway. Simmons got his second basket of the night. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Lucas kicks to Robertson. LaRusso with a screen on Hardaway. Robertson against Hardaway. Robertson passes to LaRusso. And then LaRusso with the dunk. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. To the inside, Elijah Wan. And it's Elijah Wan with the jam. I mean, I hope you can appreciate the torque that that kind of move generates. He just has that natural explosiveness. The dream is something to behold. Here's Simmons. Lucas with the rebound. Lucas has got rebound number five here tonight. Russo, the pass to Starks. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Both teams deciding to change it up. And with the pause in the action, let's look at the numbers for the league. He's averaging 19 points per game. Four assists and three rebounds. Even if you key in on him all game, he still finds a way to get his number. Right. The skill, the awareness, the physical ability, it's all there. And that's what makes this guy so hard to check. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid. I told watch this one. It's been a nail. Last break. Here come the magic. There's LaRusso over O'Neal. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And guys, there's a reason they call him Rough House Rudy. Every time we see LaRusso, there's a toughness that he'll bring to the game. And so LaRusso nails them both. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 
down low. Here's Elijah Wan. That drops and it comes off the assist from Hardaway. Elijah Wan's got 10 points in the quarter. Here's Smith. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. And the Magic lead by three. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. Hardaway for three. They get it back. It's taken away by Smith. Russo, the pass to Smith. They get a hand on it. One on one here. And that one is stuffed right through. Just great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and then trigger the fast break. Now the pass to Lucas. Here's Russell with the three. Doesn't go that time. So the Bulls will take it the other way. On the wing, Hardaway. He's guarded by Russell. And Hardaway gets it to go. Hardaway has got eight points. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. And it's Russell at the elbow. To the left side wing. Here's Mashburn. Chicago with a new 14. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Elijah Wan. Just five on the clock. Richardson dishes to O'Neal. Second shot opportunity. Richardson no luck. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from if you want to command the defender's respect. Smith against Richardson. Right side Russell. For the basket, it's number six for him this game. Six for nine, 67% shooting. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Now here is Hardaway. He's got eight. Pass to Elijah Wan. And he lays it straight in. Elijah Wan's got 12 points in just the second half. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Russell against Hardaway. Levine looking around. And Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And when you look at the turnover differential for them, plus four on the game. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. White side comes in for Elijah Walker. And Andrew Wiggins is up in for Richardson. And the Magic making a change here as well. Davis has checked in. And White side sends it back. Here's O'Neal. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And not so fast. The previous play is under review. Make sure they got it right before we go to the fourth. Yeah, and at this point in the game, you know, some might say, hey, can, can't we just skip the replay this time around? But you just never know. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And the keeping the call is is it was close, but he had not released it before the clock had expired. Yeah, still better safe than sorry. I think they did the right thing to take. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Bulls lead by one. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Fourth quarter on the floor for the Magic. Irvin out there with Lucas. Then it's Anthony Davis. Then it's Zach Levine. And it's Russell in a point guard. Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. There's a certain resiliency 
to this team, and, and you're starting to see it. No doubt keeping it very close. They're going to have to step up even more to get over the hump here. Levine wide open. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. And a chance now to take a look at the schedule for the Chicago Bulls. On Monday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the Boston Celtics. Then on Wednesday, they will start out on the road to play the Bucks in Milwaukee. And you know, nobody loves playing on the road, but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of games. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. And that'll be his third foul so far. Starks checked in for Orlando. Into the Magic, John Starks. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. And Gervin kicks to Starks. Pulls from the top of the key. Yep, right through the net. Starks has got his first two points. Chicago leading. Simmons inside. Covered by Starks. <laughs> ben Simmons at 6'11 with elite hops. That's an easy look. Orlando's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And Ben Simmons picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Elijah Wan's checked in for Whiteside. And the Magic making a change here as well. Robertson, he's checked in for Levine. And so here's Orlando. Lucas kicks to Starks. Knocked loose and stolen by Jordan. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And slashing there by Jordan. Gets up to speed in a hurry. Just impossible to stay in front of. And he sinks the second. Well, the critical free throw was the one to make it a two-possession game, and he got it. Simmons against Robertson. Here's Davis. Good D by Elijah Wan. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And they'll get another chance. Simmons finds Jordan. Inside, six to shoot. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. And here's the fast break. A shot by Starks, no good. I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. And there is no better way to add to the lead. Isn't that true, GA, especially when the slam is coming from the point guard? That's got to be a little bit deflating to the defense, guys. Getting kicked when you're down. My goodness. And it's been a productive night for Davis, staying so active on offense and taking every chance to score. Oh, oh gentlemen. Oh. My goodness, step back. That was incredible. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G slam camp. Chicago leading by six. Passes it to Simmons. Back to Jordan. Here's O'Neal. A three-pointer. Wiggins. Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Let's it go with a three. Trains the three-pointer. Davis has got 19 points. And now that he has the long ball, it's really making Davis unguardable. His growth offensively, incredible. Jordan, the pass to Wiggins. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Robertson with it. And there's a whistle, and that's going to go on Simmons. Ben Simmons. That's foul number two for him. Personal foul. 13 foul. Hardaway's checked in for Chicago. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. I was able to listen in on what Jamal Mosley was going over with his team. He's pleased that they're getting consistent points in the paint. He said, in this league, it's not easy to do what you guys are doing. Let's just keep doing it until they stop us. Kevin? Thanks, David. And remember, Davis played point guard in high school, showing off the vision there with that nice dime. 
Here's Jordan. And Davis sends it back. And they recover it. Outside Hardaway. Jordan against Gervin. The second chance effort. Nice yet again. And Elijah Wan finishes inside. And the Bulls lead by three. Such a graceful player. Uh, Hakeem is, is light off the ground there for that rebound. And then the skill to send that one home. The shot's good. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to be better defensively. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Credit them for not settling. I mean, they've been in attack mode off the dribble all game long, and thus far, it's paying off. Also, they've been living in the lane. They're getting the ball in close, and it's had a devastating impact all game long. Stepping up. Davis is a fantastic option late. You, you know with that height and skill set, he's going to get a good look. Simmons inside. Covered by Starks. And Simmons gets it to go on the assist from Michael Jordan. Orlando trailing here. Ball's not loose. Jordan with the steal. And Davis sends it back. Jordan against Starks. Out to Gervin. Robertson against Hardaway. And the Magic can hold on to the ball. And Orlando making a change here. Levine's checked in. The Bulls have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. Hardaway dishes to Wakens. And it's good assisting on the play with Hardaway. Well, plenty of energy left for key situations. The young Andrew Wiggins determined. Robert sinks to Gervin. Driving inside. And it's slammed in by Gervin. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is. And he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. And then Hardaway with the dunk. And he's now got the double-double. 11 points and 12 assists. And that's a huge shot right there. Hardaway knows his team looks for him to come up in the clutch. High post, Davis. He's against Elijah Wan. And Davis can't get it to go. And Elijah Wan has got the ball here for Chicago. Leading by five. Jordan with it. Gervin covering. The shot's good from Jordan. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score. And this is looking like one of those nights. It's Gervin on the wing. To the right side. Davis with a screen on Hardaway. And there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Outside, Simmons. It's Jordan on the wing. Over by Gervin. Elijah on the pass to Jordan. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Yeah, catching the defender there off balance. Jordan with the great strength to convert through contact. Let's see what he can do there at the line. There's 48 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Tipped away to the middle, and it's Davis finishing it off. Go get it, big fella. A basket they needed desperately, and Davis delivers in the clutch. Here's Robertson. Good! And now they trail by just four. And that's definitely a shot that he has at his arsenal. Here's Jordan. And then slammed in by Jordan. Boy, I I'll tell you, there's an art to doing this. What's amazing is how often Jordan hits the clutch shot. Thank you. 
Here's Lucas. And Simmons with the rebound. And he commits the intentional foul. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Boy, Ben Simmons, one of the most highly scrutinized players in the NBA, but I don't think you can doubt any of his defensive abilities. Cross-positional and big-time asset on that end. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. His production has been unbelievable, a testament to how much he cares about his craft. Outside, Levine. Misses the three. So the Bulls win it. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And now, David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks.